Welcome back to the Jenny McCarthy Show. I'm Jenny McCarthy Wahlberg. You guys, joining me in the studio right now, the lovely, beautiful, gorgeous, talented Mary Wilson. Welcome to my show, Mary. Hi, honey. How are you? You are stunning. Oh, my goodness. You too. Woo, girl. (laughs) got just one shoulder showing there. Let me see if I can do that, too. (laughs) Oh, but this is not TV, is it? No, okay. It's just, no, me, no, just no. me and you, okay. I, I, these are these are tops I make, uh, I, literally. I want I want that. That's sexy. I love thank it. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. You're plugging at the Cafe Carlisle in New York City now yes. through June 8th. So if people want tickets, you guys go to Cafe Carlisle and get tickets. She'll be there through June 8th. Mm-hmm. She also has a book, Supreme Glamour, September 5th. 2019 just want to plug that um so mary tell us about the show what what can people expect at the car okay so first of all you know everyone knows me as mary wilson from uh you know the supremes and and all the our 12 number one records right yeah and so the thing about that is for this would be almost our 60th year in show business right oh thank you and uh and so therefore i've been singing my oohs and my ahs and the baby baby babies you know all these years just the background and so about i don't know about six seven years ago i said to myself i said you know what i need to start learning how to sing more than just my baby baby babies and stop (laughs) you know what i mean in the name (laughs) of love and so i uh i put together this show which is more uh, american songbook because everyone and my age group in 75 or whatever we, we're into the american song books now rather than our hit records this microphone is falling down Can you know what just... it does get flaccid once in a while yeah. david's gonna help you out <laughs> so and, and so anyway what i did was oh he's crawling on the floor oh my god he's on his knees oh i like this place girl i know oh, right the guys are, service. you got the guys on their knees i do Woo-wee. That's so, awesome. <laughs> thank you, David. Thank you. <laughs> so anyway, I put together a show of me doing ballads because with the Supremes, I did do a lot of the ballads on, on our albums and 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 things like that. Uh, so I decided that's what I was going to do, and I put it together. And now I'm working at the Carlisle. Can you I believe? I, with it. my American songbooks, uh, you know. So this is really fun for me. Good for you. Yes. I mean, sixty years in the business. I mean, Pat. Well, it wasn't all. But wait a minute. But it wasn't always good. Okay, oh, we didn't get. Know, right? We didn't have our hit record until what, nineteen sixty four, and we started singing in nineteen fifty nine. So we were like thirteen years old, so around that. Uh, so you know, those first earlier years were all fun. We weren't trying to make money or anything like that. Right. So yeah. So nineteen sixty four. God, the journey. You know, the jo- it is about the journey. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, and and are you allowed to sing? Any songs you want? Allowed? Who's going to disallow? Who's going to tell me I can't? Hey, look, Jenny, who's going to tell me I can't do it, right? (laughs) But I mean, but there was a time. There was a time. You're right. There was a time when, you know, uh, they didn't want me to use, they being Motown, didn't want me to use the name Supremes. And, you know, it was was a lot of stuff going on. Yes. But I think we're we're beyond that now. In fact, I have a great relationship with Universal uh, Music Group. Who actually handles Motown? You know all the catalog and the whole bit. So they are just so fun to oh, work good. with. Oh, good. Yes. So it's it's good. It's good now. I think we all are over those days when we we're trying to compete here and, and do that because we were competing with the Beatles. You know, oh, uh, we God. and we were girls. <laughs> we were girly girls. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> so the Beatles would have a number one. We'd have a number two. Then we'd have a number one. They'd have a number two throughout the 60s and we were the only one who who really competed with them during that time and which was really kind of cool the british invasion i should make it is it is really cool i love the fact Mm -hmm. that it's female dominating amazing group this is what i'm saying and we did it was but you know we weren't thinking about it that way but that's the way it ended up right no exactly in hindsight you can go hey Mm -hmm. damn yeah we competed with the beatles the beatles right and they were you know because like i said it was a time when especially here in america a black was not beautiful yet you know the civil rights bill hadn't right. been passed so what happened was we as uh, uh uh you know black females were kind of reaching out reaching out becoming citizens here in america and all of a sudden this hit record comes out and then we're internationally known that was really it was not only it was great i mean who knew my mother my mother would be so happy every time she sees she's like ah. 
my, my God. baby, my baby. How so, does it, Mary, I have the chills for you right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 you know, it was a great time. It was a great time for us. In fact, I want you to know, Jenny, about my book because I'm saying that because we're talking about that time frame and the book, uh, the for- forward was written by uh, Whoopi Goldberg. <gasps> And wow. she, she, I'll, I'll show you the picture. Of, and what she did was uh, write about when she first started seeing the Supremes on television in the uh, early 60s. And, and she how was, it affected her. How it affected her. She said, you know, seeing three black girls on the Ed Sullivan show was so fantastic because prior to that you know black people were kind of right. relegated to being janitors and maids and I mean, nothing's wrong with that if you got to pay your bills I understand that but I get it. on TV you know it was something and she said someone looks like me that someone, means I can do it too I can do it too and that's exactly what she said so I was so happy that she uh, did talk the about forward. breaking glass ceilings yeah. I mean do you look at Beyonce like mm-hmm. and go like girl like well I know what you're saying, but I think it was more her mom who really was a person who inspired her because her mom grew up when we were famous. So I think it sort of came through that, which is, yes, which is very good because uh, now I look back and I say, well, we did inspire a whole new generation. Yeah. And look what these young girls and guys, are. I mean, they're doing so well. And I know that, yes, we had a little to do with that. Opening the doors. You Absolutely. Know. That's every, a lot to do with it. Because everyone stands on someone's shoulder, right? A hundred percent. We stand on the shoulder of people like Lena Horne, Josephine Baker, you know, I mean, uh, Diane Carroll. Uh, uh, my favorite, obviously, was, not obviously, but was... Um, uh, uh, she just passed away, um, Doris Day. Oh. I, I was the first blonde in the Brewster Projects in Detroit, Michigan, okay? Because I just <laughs> I love, love me so some much. Doris Day. Oh, I love it Sarah, so Sarah, much. Whatever will be, will be. I was singing that song, you know. I mean, I was like the only black girl in the Projects. <laughs> Mary, you must be so fun to hang out with. Let me just tell you. Uh, I, I, I mean, I'm told si- I'm told I am, but you. Know. You got. I can tell, girl. <laughs> if I had to sit down with a few martinis and mm-hmm. talk, tell some stories. It's unbelievable. Yes. I'm going to p- plug this again. Performing at Cafe Carlisle right. in New York City now through June 8th, and her new book, Supreme Glamour, September 5th yes. through 2019. And do you guys? Are you guys good in terms of the Supremes? Do you guys talk still? Well, I actually, uh, Diana and I, you know, Florence passed away, unfortunately. Uh, and and uh, Diana and I, we speak, um, we, you know, we email each other uh, occasionally. But, you know, we're like 75 years old. Well, I shouldn't tell about her, but I mean, I'm 75 years old. And, you know, you have a life. I have 11 grandchildren. She has, mm-hmm. uh, you know, her family. So we're, you know, we're out there and we're still working, you it's know. unbelievable, So yeah. uh, it's, it, we don't have the kind of close friendship where we hang out every day that's why i guess i'm trying to say yeah but we I get are that. but we are more than friends we're sisters mm. you know i mean real sisters i when i think about when we started singing in 1959 we were 13 years old when we went to motown i think we were 16 years old and got a recording contract and then we became famous so we went through you know all that craziness with the boys and say, oh he's so cute ah! you know and dresses you know we had fabulous right. dresses yeah together that's something that you just can't take away you know what I mean it's, it's it, it instilled in you exactly and now in hindsight mm-hmm. looking back at your whole career what would you have done differently and what are you so grateful Okay. Did. Okay. I, I I'll sing a little song that I sing at the show because it it, it uh, um uh, uh not Nora Jones um uh the, the both sides now, Joni Mitchell. Yeah. So, oh. At seventy five, honey, sometimes you forget what you're trying to Trust say. Trust me, I forget. And I'm Go in circles of everything, something. right? All right. So anyway, the one line I always say that she was such a she is such a great writer because this song is exactly how I think. And there's one line about. Uh, Rose and flows of angel hair and ice cream castles in the air and feathered canyons everywhere. I've looked at uh, clouds that way, but now they only block the sun. They rain and they snow on everyone. Here's the line, so many things I would have done 
but clouds got in my way. So, yeah, I would have a lot of things that I would change. I almost just started crying. Just... <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 there's so many things that, yes, you know, I think when you're young, you were, we were given that time to be crazy, to, you know, to make mistakes, to be stupid, you know, to whatever. Then you, you got to grow up and and you become whatever. And you look back and you say, oh my God, did I really do that? Now I've written, uh, three books so far. My best one, uh, uh, was not best. I should say my first one was Dream Girl my life as a supreme and uh i you know i i talk about a lot of things in that one so uh i forgot why i was saying that. Why just was about about learning <laughs> lessons and things like that because mm-hmm. thank you, know, you. <laughs> i look i look I, I mean i tell my son all the time because he's so hard on himself how old is he Your son? he's 17 oh and he's like i just I, I keep making mistakes i'm like they're lessons buddy they're just lessons they're lessons and you know what if you don't make mistakes you don't get the lessons that's right. But now you know you you know you do have to think about that though. Some of the mistakes is like I will never do that one again. Yep. So yeah, there are things I would have changed, and probably I'll tell you one. Uh, Florence Ballard, who was the other Supreme, uh, and she and I sang all the you know back the backing vocals. Well, she passed away in 1976, and she was only 32 years old. Oh. Now we had al- already become famous and toured the world couple of times well maybe once before she left and uh, when she passed that was something I said if I could if I could have only have helped her you know to to to, to you know, I don't know I'm, I'm about to cry myself but that was something that I would really have wanted to mm. have done something about you know but I was young too you know and of we course. were all young and and something she was and I'm gonna say this because that me, me too movement is out there Florence was actually abused when she was 14 so obviously we were still singing we were had just oh, and we were God. young girls so um that's something if I could have known how to help her get through all of that that's something I would have done. Right, Cause, um, because you did know about it, but you just oh, didn't have yeah. the tools at we that age. We didn't have the tools. At the, you know, we were like 14 years old. And uh, and so, the, you know, I thought that maybe once when we became famous, because we knew we were going to be famous, okay, because we, <laughs> we thought we were really good, and we really were good. We're really good. So, so uh, I thought that once we became famous, uh, you know, she would get over it. But you you can't unless you get that professional help help, and that's why I'm happy that the women are speaking out and the men and the boys and everyone because it stays with you and it can stop you from getting your good in life. Absolutely. So that's it, something I would have wanted to have oh. been able to do. So that it is it is about fixing some core trauma. I talk uh, about that all the time on my show because if okay. you don't go back and you don't heal those core issues, mm-hmm. it's going to come charging back in your 40s, mm-hmm. 50s, you name it. Yes, it's there. It's, yeah, they're there. Come and, out sideways. And I don't care how, you know, money, you know, money won't, uh, it can't help that. Won't now, fix and so it. I want to tell you something else. I don't know how much time you have for me, girl. You got a good five minutes, okay, girl. Five minutes. Oh, that's a, that's a lifetime on radio, right? So yep. anyway, <laughs> look, at this. you guys should see her out there. She's pulling this shoulder now. That's, I, you must send me it one of those. It keeps falling. It keeps falling. No, it's, but you got to send it to me because, I mean, I was always a girly girl. In fact, I have 11 grandchildren and my one grandchild says, Gamma with girly girls on we? Like, yeah, with girly girls. <laughs> Seventy five years old. I am. <laughs> anyway, there you go. I forgot what I was saying, but there we go. <laughs> You're oh, so. I, yeah, I, know, I know what it. I know what it is. So I, I'm at the Carlisle and I'm singing uh, uh, these ballads that I absolutely love, and I do one supreme song. So I, we hopefully I satisfy them. And so I also want to uh, bring up something: the Modernization Act. That was what I was trying to come back to. It's something, a piece of legislation that perhaps your husband and his group might, you know, want to look into. And that is, uh, this was passed uh, and the president signed it, Modernization Act. And it says that anyone before uh, 1972 uh, will now be paid when their music is streamed and downloaded and all those things. Up to now, we were not paid. What? Only, I did not know on, that. only artists who had recorded after 1972 were paid. So now we've we've a lot of us. When got did together. that happen? When did the act happen? Well, did you see? Did you see uh, Kenya West on, on, on with uh, with the president? Yeah. That's the same time our bill was passed, but nobody heard about it. Anyway, oh, but we still wow. are getting paid. 
<laughs> Thank God. So I now say, you're seeing those magic checks come in. Yes, yes, honey. Yes. So that's and and, and this is for like I say, not just for the singers, for you know writers and engineers and, and right. all that. So that's so cool. If it you is think, cool. If you think about all the people from the '60s, Aretha Franklin, even the Beatles. I mean, you know, uh, the Temptations. In fact, the Temptations are up for a Tony. Ah! <laughs> and 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 the Supremes are actually featured in that play. Anyway, so uh, I forgot why I was saying that. What <laughs> the modern before modern 1972, edition. right? So I people like that, that will now be paid. And think about the ones who passed on, right? But now their families. I bring that up because their estates and their families now can go into that. They can, hopefully, yes. And so there you go. Rightfully so. It's art, and it's going to mm-hmm. if it's going to be yes. keep being played. They need to be paid for and it. It is art. I mean, people, you know what? Here's why when I do my master classes and lectures, I tell people, I said, you know what? Lawyers, doctors, all these people, I mean, they, when they're, they, they put on music to help them through a lot of things. When, when children, when people are in college, they put on the music to kind of calm, you know, do whatever. So music is always there and it helps everyone. So we should be paid. We artists should be paid. A hundred percent. It's okay. healing. Okay. There you it's go. healing. You okay. are just a dream to talk to. Oh, Can I tell you? Girl, I got so much. To, oh, no, I want to go to your show, <laughs> and I need a good cry because you almost made me cry during that song. Oh, so I'm, you might great. be seeing me at the Cafe Carlisle. You guys check out Mary Wilson performing at Cafe Carlisle in New York City now through June 8th, and her new book. Make sure you get it. Supreme Glamour. They September can they 5th, can also pre-order that, which is really cool. Maybe you I'll get it. another bestseller. So I want to come to Chicago. I, I want to come there. It. Are there any cabaret places left there? Because you know I know what? I used to work at Mr. Joe's or somebody. I used. I don't know where it was. I used to. Work I there. guarantee there is. Okay. Um, we'll I will get a it. list. Would I sh- send you this sh- uh, a shirt that I because I make these? Girl. I will tell you now, and I will give you a list. Do they come in different colors or just? They the black? do. I like. Okay, give me. Okay, all right. Give me. I'll a, give you. Yeah. A, I'll give you a whole different <laughs> slew of them. I love it. Okay, and they're cool. cozy and they're stretchy and you could just do whatever. You can move yeah. up this way. Ooh. Okay. okay, look at I'm right, doing a fashion show for Mary now. Fine. That's okay. You, you're doing it for the right person, okay? I love fashion. I love it. And, you know, and Diane, too. I mean, we just absolutely, and Florence, too, when she was with us, she absolutely, we, that was our thing, fashion. Right? We love to look girl good. You guys did an amazing yeah. job looking yes, fabulous. I think so. <laughs> Keep up the amazing work, Mary. Thanks, you Jenny. truly are just a, just a dream and a Thank talent. You. Thank you so much. Please come back, and I'm hopefully I'll see you at the call out. Okay, okay. We'll do. Much love to you, Thank sweetheart. Thank you. Thank Bye. you. Jenny McCarthy Show. Oh.